Hello everyone and welcome back to my playthrough of Persona 3 Reload. Last time we got a new transfer student named Ryoji Mazi Mazikuchi, Mazichuchi, something like that, Ryoji. Um, where he came from, uh, we don't really know. Uh, but we also helped out uh, Junpei uh, with uh, Chidori basically getting her like a, a flower. She started to shut down a little bit. Basically, I told Junpei not to talk to her anymore. And Junpei felt bad. He wanted to buy a flower, but he was too chicken or something. We manned up, bought the flower, gave it to him, and it's like, you have to talk to Chidori. And um, it's a good thing we did, because I found out about this uh, accidentally, because um, I was trying to research something else. But apparently, if you don't... You can. We basically just saved Chidori um, because she can actually die. I'm not exactly sure how. I don't remember this from the from the original game. I'm. I vaguely remember something like this, but I don't remember the circumstances for it. You know what I mean? So, yeah, we just saved Chidori. Uh, I guess getting us a, a better ending. I have no idea. But let's continue on. too loud. Okay, what do we got here? So we can talk to Hayase, we can talk to, you know what, let's talk to Yuko, just so we can unlock that guy in the evening, the, uh, the guy in the club. Hi! Um, hi! You, you didn't hear that. We were interrupted last time, so if you're down, want to try hanging out again? Absolutely. <laughs> Great, let's hit the town and have some fun this time. How about we head to Polonia Mall? Maybe we could check out... We could get some cake from Chagall, too. I can go with some cake right now. Oh, yeah! Have you been training to strengthen your core? It's a good idea if you want to shorten your run time. You're less likely to injure yourself, too. I was talking with Kaz about putting it in the first year's practice routine, actually. Do you mind if we continue talking in the cafe? I'm a little hungry. No problem. Ow. Oh, right in the ass. You again. Oh, man. You know, it's dangerous to be running around a place like this. You're lucky it's just me, but what if you bumped into a scary man, huh? Mm, if you like want to play, do it at your schoolyard. <laughs> but we can't play there. The sixth graders are always hogging everything by playing soccer. Those bastards. Said they'll move if we can beat them in a race, but we're only fourth graders. There's no way we could win. That's why we had to play tag here instead, Andy Leave Hugo. it to us. I'll let the anti slide this time, but only because I feel sorry for you. All right, come with me. This field is so big. By the way, not to sound like a a pig or anything like a male pig. Yuko sounds really hot. Like whoever the voice actor is, I, I think she's got a really hot voice. Wow, high school is amazing. They said it's fine for us to use the schoolyard for a bit. Normally, you wouldn't be allowed in here. Understand? So don't touch anything you're not supposed to, and if something happens, let us know immediately. Can you promise that? We promise. Good. Then practice until the big hand on that clock reaches 12. And don't go inside the school building. All right, let's do this. So much for hanging out and getting Wait, cake at the mall. Wait, for a second. You need to pump your arms more. And don't lift your legs so high, or you might pull a muscle. Come on, give it a try. You just gotta believe in yourself. Woohoo! Check this out. I'm Naruto now. Wow! Kenshon, you're so fast! Hey, big sis! You should be our coach! Oh, 
a real sucker when kids look at me that way. But I've never tried coaching before. What do you think I should do? Why not give it a go? Really think I should? Lion, please. Please. Oh my god. Hmm. Well, it isn't a decision to make lightly. Be your coach, but I'm not gonna go easy on you guys, and no one's allowed to quit halfway either. Got it? Got it, Coach Hugo! Hey, is he gonna teach us too? Is he your boyfriend, Coach? Never you mind about that. Now, everyone, line up. I said I wouldn't go easy on you, didn't I? Yuko began passionately instructing, instructing each child. Think positive. If you think you're gonna lose, you will. Don't be afraid of them just because they're sixth graders. That, that sounds, sounds hard, hard, but okay. You didn't have to say that in unison. I watched Yuko as she coached the kids. Eventually, they all went home. Once they started calling me coach, I couldn't resist. Hey, um, I was wondering, would you maybe want to do this coaching thing together? I know I'm asking a lot, but I don't know much about racing. And plus, you're really athletic, too. So if you'd coach them with me, I'd really appreciate it. <laughs> I mean, why not, right? <laughs> Please? Honestly, I don't think I can handle it on my own. Sure thing. Oh, thank goodness. I'm sure those kids will be happy, too. Thanks. Not like I don't have a million other things going on in my life. I know that I keep asking you for favors, but I'll make it up to you one day. Giggity. Oh, welcome back. Thank you. Hey. Hey. Oh, hey, man. Hear me out, will you? So, when I got to Chidori's hospital room, I braced myself and dropped my best one-liner. And to no one's surprise, Chidori ignored me again. But the judging looks everyone gave me was the absolute worst. Ugh. Um... Ryochi couldn't transfer here at such a weird time of year. Maybe it was because of his parents? What did they do, anyway? Seems like no one really knows anything about him. Hmm. Hmm, it's pretty mysterious. Indeed. <gasps> Takoyaki. Or Taiyaki. Yeah, chill it. Hey. I've just put some Taiyaki in there. Alright. No one fucking take it. I'm looking at you, Junpei. Hey. No Taiyaki. None. If I... If I... Uh, you better not. You better not. Doctors working multiple shifts due to the number of patients. With some doctors succumbing to apathy syndrome themselves, the situation is worsening. I wonder what, uh, like, what preempts someone to get apathy syndrome. Like, is it, I, obviously it's not like a virus or anything, but like, does something happen in the shadow world that causes them to get apathy syndrome? Or is it just something that, like, how does it develop, you know what I mean? Good evening. Are you free tonight? I really need your help with something. I'll be waiting in front of the dorm. Oh. Well, I mean, if you're gonna put me on the spot like this, I guess. Senpai. I know you must be busy, but do you have time to come with me tonight? Seems like Amada wants me to accompany him somewhere. Yeah, sure. Thank you let's very do much. It. Thanks, I wasn't sure if I'd be able to go there alone. We're, we're not talking like strip bars or anything, are we? I'd like to head over to Port Island Station now, if that's great with you. No! Why the fuck would you want to go there? And of course we're going. So then, I took it apart and put it somewhere. <laughs> I want to go to a bar called Que Sera Sera. It's down this way. 
I'm sorry, do you say I took it apart and I put it somewhere and the girl laughed? Context, I guess, I, I don't know. I was thinking of getting Mitsuru-san a gift, and uh, I heard I might be able to buy what I'm looking for at the bar. Hey, what's up with them? Who knows? What's a kid doing here? Mm, maybe it's too dangerous, but supposedly it's only open at night. Let's check it out. Oh, okay. Hmm. Is it a bit further down? <sighs> now there's little kids running around. Oh, it's become so wholesome here. Hey, it's Who past says that? your bedtime, little boy. Mommy's waiting for you. <laughs> Ignore it. Thank you, but I'm all right. If I let it bother me, then it'll never go away. I just want to finish what I came here for. This looks like the place. The owner here is really particular about the taste of his drinks. They say he has ingredients you can't normally find. And for one of the cocktails he makes, he uses an extremely rare tea leaf. You did your research. <laughs> I borrowed a computer from Fuka-san and gathered some information. Mitsuru-san seems to know her teas well, so I figured I shouldn't give her anything weird. I hope the bar owner is willing to share some of it, though. Well, he looked scary, but at least he agreed to sell it to us in the end. <laughs> Boy, I'm glad that worked out. I can't wait to give this to Mitsuru-san. With everything that happened, I'm sure she's been having a hard time. It's sad and painful to be in a home knowing that you'll never see a loved one there with you again. So, I'm hoping this makes things more pleasant for her, at least while she's at the dorm. Although, it is Mitsuru-san we're talking about, so I'm sure she'll be fine. I just thought it would be nice if she was able to think about things over a delicious cup of tea. You're really kind. Oh, no. It's just, she's always looking after me, so I thought I'd show my appreciation. When I think about what it was like for me, I feel like this is the least I can do. Well, we should head back before it gets too late. <sighs> What's wrong? Nah, it's nothing. You know, just trauma from this is Thanks where the guy today, died. Senpai. No problem. And sorry for making you worry about all that stuff. We haven't really talked properly since what happened to Aragaki-san. I keep thinking about the last thing he said to me. I have to live for myself. But how exactly do I do that? I wasn't sure where to start, but I've been trying all kinds of things. Things that the old me would have never considered, like hanging out with my friends at school, reading manga, and even watching TV. I'm also trying to make an effort to talk to people in the dorm more. Mitsuru-san helped me with my homework the other day, and I even beat Junpei-san in a video game. <laughs> oh, Probably not that I hard. also ate snacks with Yukari-san and the others, and Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. I realized that little things like this can really make life enjoyable. Sorry, what did he say? And Aiga-san helped me feed hamburger. You mean you fed ham? Oh, hamburger's the hamster. Right. I, re I remember now. Uh, because when they bought the hamster, they ate hamburgers. I remember now. Well, that's what I've learned so far. Invite me next time. <laughs> of course. Let's go get ramen together again one of these days. It was so delicious the last time we had it. You know, 
I've noticed other people in the dorm talk about you a lot. Everyone seems to be really happy when they do, too. The hard battles continue, but we're still able to keep going. And it's because we all know when we come back, they'll always be there for us. That's really sweet. Um, that's an exaggeration. You think so? Well, that's how I feel at least. You're always leading the way and giving everyone courage. I want to be more like you, Senpai. I want to continue learning from your example. That's okay, right? Anyways, sorry that all took so long. The night air is getting chilly. Shall we go back home? I mean, we're already home. I listened to what Amada had been up to as we went back to the dorm. I mean, we were literally outside the dorm. I feel like my charm has improved after witnessing Amada's thoughtfulness towards Mitsuru. If only. I am fully maxed out, though. And that's why... It's November already. The third year students must be cramming frantically by this point. Don't worry, though. You'll share their fate next year. I could just see you now, tearing your hair out. Anyway, it's a bit cold today. But there's no need for the heater. Let me tell you why. Winter is supposed to be cold. You have to learn to appreciate the temperature rather than curse it. That's the Japanese way. Do you understand me? You don't, do you? As Sh Sai Shonagan once wrote in her famous pillow book, Winter Early Mornings. Yes, that's right. Mm, let's see, Yuki, what was she describing with such a sparse line? Uh, her favorite time in winter? That'd be my guess. Well, the answer was pretty obvious. So you do have some basic sense. I guess I do. The author was describing her favorite time in winter. She's now famous for having written about her likes, dislikes, and other observations. She admires what the snow represents, the beauty of the winter frost. Rather than curse the winter chill, she appreciated its positive qualities. Oh, how wonderful Japanese culture is. Despite its modern youth, anyway. And if you think my hair is frosty, remember that you'll eventually be just like me. I mean... It's really not. I answered correctly. <laughs> Sometimes I start heading to the hospital without even realizing it. Today was one of those days. Chidori, why'd she... Um, okay, so he wants to hang out, I guess. Before I do that... Um, I actually completely forgot. We still need to get that helmet from the teacher. Mr. Ono seems so stepped out. Hmm. Main ingredients are deglucose, erith erythritol, saccharin sodium. These are all sweeteners. Oh, you can. One moment, please. Take a look at this. Okay. I ordered a bag of sand through the mail the other day, and it came with this supplement. It says here this will boost your brain power. I don't know how they can make such an outlandish claim with these ingredients. See for yourself, the active ingredients in this are all sweeteners. At the very end, it lists an omega-3 fatty acid called DHA, but that means that there's only trace amounts of it. I know it was free, but what a joke. Maybe I'm in the wrong line of work. Take this. Go ahead and take it if you want it. Though the best it'll do is be a placebo. The food they serve at Wakatsu has better benefits than that. I mean, it gives two fucking notes. It's made with loads of fish eyes, a prime source of DHA. It's not my thing. It's not 
<coughs> Excuse me. It's not my thing, though. Speaking of DHA, did you know the full term is... Oh, God, here we go. I'm gonna... Docosahexaonic acid? Docosahexaonic acid. You see, it's... I got smarter. Mr. Ono doesn't seem to be returning. Well, shiza. So what does this do? So just 58 HP. Got a decent amount at least. Okay, let's head back to the classroom. And hang out with Ryoji. Hey there. Are you free? Going out with a few ladies later, but I guess some of their friends want to talk with me first. Uh, maybe we can all go together. Wouldn't that be so much more fun? I think they're waiting for me on the roof. Want to come along? Ryoji's invited me to join him. This might be a good opportunity to get to know him better. Let's do it. Thanks. Great, let's go. These aren't ladies. Unless that's what you think ladies are. Um, it's nice to meet you. So, you said you needed to talk to me? Yeah, keep your hands off our girlfriends. All I've been hearing her talk about is Ryoji-kun. Yeah, you need to stop talking to every girl you see. Oh, um, sorry. I actually have no idea which girls you're talking about. There's been too many that have come up to me. Is this a joke to you? Wow. I'm sorry if I offended you, but I haven't made any moves on anyone. I just invited them out for a bite to eat. That's exactly what we call making a move. That's a problem then. I've made a promise to go out with them. I can't just cancel due to my inconvenience. C quit messing with us. I mean, it's not your inconvenience. It's their inconvenience. Ryoji could get in danger if this continues. I should probably intervene. Give me your phone. I'm going to delete all the contact info you have. Um. Calm down. Who the hell are you? This is none of your business. Are you taking his side? Hey, it's that guy from 2F. I heard he's friends with Sonata Senpai and the student council president. They live in the same dorm. What do we do? If he tells them, then... <laughs> Look, just stay the hell away from our girlfriends and delete them from your contacts. Got it? Uh, all right. I'll do it. Better watch out. Or he'll steal your girlfriend, too. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean to make trouble <coughs> for you. Uh... It's... it's not your fault. No. Considering how angry they were, I'd say I probably was at fault here. Right, from now on, I will ask if they have a boyfriend first, before inviting them out. Hey, thanks for having my back. You're very kind. <sighs> what a great view. The ocean looks so beautiful. It really <sighs> is. I do like seeing it from the monorail to school each morning, but it looks so different from up here. That would be an awesome... I wonder why those guys were so mad. If I could, like, see an ocean view taking, like, a ride to work every day that'd be amazing like i know people who live in like um you know parts of california or like even new york they if they take like the the bridge every day like a lot of people take that shit for granted like you know if you're stuck in traffic while you're on the bridge like take note of the view man it's this kind of scenery doesn't come by too often at least not to many people if you're in a relationship with someone, that means you like each other, right? I don't think me getting in the picture would change that, would it? 
I wonder what it means to like someone. Do you have someone like that? I mean, I like to think so. Wow. <clears throat> that must be nice. Is it anybody I know? I wonder what you two talk about. I guess there's still a lot that I don't understand. Look at the world out there. The people in this city, our classmates in school, and you. Uh, I want to know more about all of it. All right, uh, since I dragged you into this mess today, let me make it up to you. I'll treat you to ramen. I just had some with Junpei Kun the other day. And while we're at it, maybe you can show me around town. I'd like to know what kind of places you like going to. He's got a certain... I spent some time with Ryoji, then returned to the dorm. All the stats of the equipped persona have been raised by one. Nice. He seems to have like an innocence to him. Kind of like Elizabeth, right? Welcome back. Sub, dude. Um, and it's kind of weird, isn't it? Like, is he... Like, is he not from this world? Like, he seems... How does he not know, like, what relationships are? Like, how to like someone, you know? It's kind of weird. What the heck? Hmm. Who's mysterious? Ryoji? Psh, that's just his M.O. He's just trying to turn the ladies by acting all secretive. In reality, he's just a normal good-looking guy. Like me. So, um... I lost the parents, so I know how Mitsuru-san feels. But I don't really know how I got back on my feet, but... I still remember how I shut myself away from the rest of the world. Sufficiently chilled. Nice. And of course it's filled with other stuff now. Uh, 1210. Oh my god, that's a month away. Today's Cantonese word is Chinyan. Make a heart with your hands and say Chinyan. Chinyan means lover. If you catch apathy syndrome, you won't be anyone's Chinyan anymore. That's cold, man. That's all for this week. Back to the news. Uh, Luca. Um. Actually, before I go there. There's nothing we can do with... Like, uh, sorry, Fuka won't gain any more stuff. I've thought long and hard about Ryoji. Although I don't exactly know what is so unsettling about him, I want you to remain cautious around him. Um, say. I actually bought more books from my home. Brought more books from my home. Um, uh, no. Sorry. Can we talk to Mitsuru, maybe? Oh, she's right there. My apologies. Sorry, but I won't be going to Tartarus for a while. Can't seem to find a reason to fight. Or a reason to live, for that matter. Oh. I'm sorry, babe. So mind your own biz. Uh, let's go to the station. Just stock up on the SP drinks. So I don't think we've done that yet. I forget. I think there was one item here. Yeah. Might as well. I think we got everything here now. But I thought I'd be getting like, um... Uh, some kind of achievement. Maybe the guy in Escapade, he still has more stuff to sell. Oh, he does. Go have a look for you. Dating site note. The note with the URL of the matchmaking site with a prepaid offering pass. Uh, 
Well, let's buy one for now. <laughs> it's been. I don't know why there's multiple. That's weird. This guy here now? A chance? No. Doesn't seem we've unlocked the guy yet. Okay, so it's Thursday. Oh yeah, there's no point. There's no point going to the arcade anymore. No one's gone in there, right? No. Okay, well, I'll go take Koromaru for a walk, uh, because whoever we meet, we actually raise their social link, like, uh, we'll get, like, notes for it, so we can race to the next... Oh, wait. No, not now. Sorry. You, you remain shaggy and, and all that shit. Is it worth it? Okay, I'm gonna see what this... You know what? I'm gonna see what this is first. The site seems to require an offering. Luckily, the note came with a free pass. Thank you for the offering, and welcome to the matchmaking super shrine. Picture anyone you wish to intensify your relationship with and click the button below. Oh, well, that's pretty cool. I guess I'll do this one. Praying. Current progress 3%. Continue focusing while you wait. Progress bar seems stuck at 3%. I'll continue thinking of Kamiki. Prayer complete. Your relationship has intensified. Seems the prayer is done. Having meditated on our relationship, Kamiki feels more important to me. If you would like to ask for another prayer, please purchase another offering pass. Okay, that's pretty cool. So instead of the shrine, I can do this at night. Instead of taking up time in the morning, I can do this at night, you know what I mean? It's actually super useful. Morning. Hey, have you talked to Mochizuki-kun at all? A little bit. Huh. Oh yeah? You think maybe you could get along with him? Seems really, um, affectionate. Is that normal overseas? Hey there. I mean, it's more tolerated than, I guess, in Japan. Why, hello, Takaba-san. Oh, and good morning to you too, Makoto-kun. Uh. Oh, hey. Good morning, Mo Mochizuki-kun. <laughs> Please, call me Ryoji. You see, since I transferred here at such an awkward time, I was hoping I could get to know everyone better. Yeah. Oh, I see. It must suck having to transfer schools so often. Yeah. Can't deny that. I should be used to it by now. But it's always hard to leave new friends. It's a little lonely, you know. So how about keeping me company for a little while? Want to grab a quick bite sometime? Wow. That is cool. They went up. That is so cold. Oh, hi. Oh, yeah. The school trip is coming up. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Aren't you excited? Uh, definitely, yeah. <laughs> I'll make sure we have a great time while we're there. Okay. Thanks. Uh, what do we got here? Puka, Bebe, which I'm not going to do yet. And Mamoru Hayase. Uh, before that, faculty. Oh, for fuck's sake. Good grief. Uh, miss, did Miss Toriyomi go home already? The teacher's log is a mess. If she's, su if she's such an expert on composition, what's with the syntax? And these weird symbols to the side? Is this some kind of face? 
won't she ever grow up? This is supposed to be the hint that Toriyumi is the the hermit, like the Maya, the online player that we used to play on Sundays. What do you want? Yuki, why didn't you speak up sooner? Don't think that people will lead you around by the hand once you're out in the real world. So what do you want? Miss Toriyumi seems to have left her share of unfinished work behind. Good grief. Having a teacher like her in charge of your class must be a severe impediment to your pursuit of education. Ugh, excuse me. You'll never guess what she said during the teacher's conference the other day. I feel as if what I think you're saying isn't wrong. What's with that? I can't make heads or tails of syntax that tortured. Because of teachers like her, I can hardly blame you youngsters for your grammar, can I? Understood. Now listen to me carefully. To begin with, proper grammar is... I was lectured on proper sentence structures. All because we want a fucking helmet. I think I gave up for today. How about food? How about sure? Is this the final? No, rank nine. My mom said I can't have a cat, no matter what. But it's okay, my dad is on my side. I'm gonna learn all about cats, show her I can take care of one. Then my dad will convince my mom. I'll do my best. Meow? Meow. The cat's head is cocked to one side. We can move it to the other side. Dude, did you see that? She helped that brat who fell and started crying. She actually made him stop that damn bawling. Damn, she's one nice girl. You only get the special miso soup if you ordered the fried shrimp set. I hear that sometimes. You'll find a real pearl in that soup. Okay. Is that guy who keeps following me around gonna talk to me or what? No normal guy would wait this long to talk to a girl, right? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> yeah, yeah they would. Up. Yeah, let's do it, bruh. I'm all fired up now. Can't go wrong with ramen. I don't think I'll ever get tired of it. Me either, man. Glad we can meet up one more time before I take off. Take off? I told you last time, right? I'm getting a job. Oh yeah, the factory, the factory west, yeah. So I'm moving into a dorm there. I've already sent my luggage. Now I just gotta send myself. My mom started crying and blaming herself. But I'm the one who wants to do this. This is a new chapter in my life. Guess I should say goodbye to this ramen too. Well then, I better get going. Let's chat a bit more. Sorry, but it's time to go. But how about you come see me off at the station? I'm just picking the wrong choices for this guy. Hey. Here, take this. Oh, this is the last one. I'm, I'm gonna get max rank no matter what. Looks like a car key. I want you to hang on to that. What's this for? Well, it's a car key, obviously, but it's not just any car key. It's the key to my dad's car. I've been keeping it for good luck. Sometimes I get pretty pissed that he's not around anymore. My life wouldn't have been so complicated, you know? I could have enjoyed track more. I wouldn't have had all that pressure to be the best but by blaming him like that I was just running away from my problems that's why I want you to have it I don't want to risk running away again but if I know you have it I'll be able to stand on my own two feet then next time we meet I can still be proud of who I am <sighs> thank you seems to really care about me 
I've gained a lifelong friend. The end we be. Can now fuse Hellel, the light bearer. We'll see each other again someday. Sahaya say off and went back to the dorm. Oh, welcome back. Um, is it just me or does Junpei Sun, Junpei Sun seem unhappy about something? He's been mumbling under his breath for the longest time. Do you think it's about Chidori Sun? Well, it's probably best to let him be until we know what's on his mind, right? Um, um, hey. I'm worried about Kirijo Senpai. She's, she's usually so calm and level headed. I can't bear to see her this way. I hope the school trip will cheer her up. Yeah. Today's exchange rate the yen is now 115.52 to the dollar, down. 0.24 from the last time. Japanese economy is Japan's economy is feeling the effects of apathy syndrome. Imagine if there was like a stock market mechanic in this game based on like the apathy uh. syndrome. You like put stocks and like take them out and like make more money that way or lose money. Uh, not now. Oh. Um, she won't get hmm. anything, right? I think I check every time, but it's... Yeah. Um. Um, okay, I want to get more of those uh, offering things. Go have a look for you. 99. No. Uh, I'll get maybe 20? Pretty much good. <laughs> it's it seems like a lot, but honestly, we have, we still have a lot of social links to get through. Like, how many do we still have left? So, that one's gonna rank on its own. So, we sell Fuka, the student council, uh, uh, the treasurer, Chihiro, the art club, the uh, Yoko, uh, the Dying Man, uh, Amiki. Um, we still have this um, guy that we're going to meet in the club, the Tower. We still have Mitsuru, and we still have Aegis. So we still have nine um, that I'm aware of. I might be forgetting. Oh, and Bebe, which we haven't even started yet. So we still have ten. So. 20 might actually not even be enough, but we'll we'll deal with that afterwards. Uh, so what I might actually do is most of my nights, I'll probably just spend it at the computer. Unless Fuka or someone else like cockboxed me on the computer. Um, and I'm taking kind of a gamble because I don't know if, you know, they're ready to be, like, moved on to the next level. You know what I mean? Like, um, because sometimes it just said, like, I don't think we're going to reach the next level yet. But sometimes it does. I'm taking a gamble. I have no idea. I could uh, save scum, but I'm not, I'm not going to. Uh, so Chihiro, we just started. So I think we'll be okay there. Yuko... It's either Yuko or Fuka. Doesn't even tell you what level you're at with them. Um, I'll do... I'll do Yuko.
Okay. I'm glad we actually have something to do at nights now. Um, it won't happen every night, but, you know. Morning. What's up, Makoto? Hey there. Morning. Morning. Get a load of this. Hey, you know, the two of you would totally get along. He actually wanted to know more about Kekokan High, so naturally, I had to share my wisdom with him. Anyways, he's a real cool dude to hang with. Much obliged. Thanks for helping me out, Junpeikun. Thanks especially for telling me who's in the top 10 cuties of Kekokan High, too. <laughs> Shh! Pipe down! If Yukatan hears about this, my rep's gonna go down the toilet. Uh, isn't it already rock bottom? Dude, quit rubbing salt in the mood, okay? I'm just... In I totally miss the whole thing. Quit rubbing salt in my wound. I'm just an easily misunderstood fella, okay? <laughs> <laughs> you two are pretty close, huh? I hope we can also be good friends. Um, since we're both transfer students and all. Let's get on with today's lesson. Oh my god, this guy again. Alright, let's begin today's lecture, shall we? Om Avira Hum Kam Vajratatu Bam. I'll be teaching today because, well, maybe it's the best that you don't know. Anyway, I'm filling in last minute, so I didn't have much time to come up with a lesson plan. First thing that came to mind was a lecture on practical magic. How about we discuss some breathing techniques? I know, some people would say breathing's anything but magic but the two are actually closely linked. That's because breathing affects more than your body. It influences the mind as well. The ancient Greek word for breath is pneuma. It was a very important concept in the medical science of the day. Later, Gnostic Christians used pneuma to refer to the human spirit, a concept separate from the soul. That was around the time when breathing techniques were recognized as being so crucial to successful magic. I can name all sorts of examples like where this influence is felt today. Like yoga, breathing is an especially important factor there. There is also the Shinto concept of Ibuki, meaning both breath and inner strength, that is often incorporated into martial arts training. So you can see how breathing techniques have spread throughout the world thanks to the power of magic. But back to practical matters, let me show you something called Dantian breathing. Some say Gautama Buddha himself practice this method while on earth. It's a breathing exercise where you focus on a specific dantian, or energy center in your body. The first, so the first step is simply focusing on the right dantian, as each person has multiple. For this exercise, focus on the lower one. It's about three finger widths below the navel. Why does such a seemingly random spot on the body receive such high regard, to the point of being specially named? Because it's because the Dantian is where the most energy can be charged within the body. Once you start the exercise, you might notice that the energy you send there can't be felt elsewhere in the body. This is because the Dantian absorbs your spiritual energy, further strengthening the body and mind. Let's start doing some Dantian breathing now. For first timers, it's usually a good idea to place your hand in the proper spot. This helps to maintain focus. Once you've pinpointed your Dantian, you can begin the breathing process. Imagine all the air you pull in with your diaphragm is coalescing within the Dantian. I don't know if it's Dantian or Dantian, I have no idea. Then, just as deliberately, exhale through the nose. The goal with each breath is to channel energy into your Dantian until you can feel it to begin to harden. That's the point when you should exhale and simply repeat this process as desired. That's all. Oh, except one important note. If you're doing it correctly, there shouldn't be any pain. Why would there be any pain? After all, when you boil it down, you're simply breathing in and out. That means if it hurts, then there's likely some sort of mental thing you're going on instead. Something inhibiting your mind. I'm feeling sleepy. Um, no, stay awake. As such. So you can see how breathing methods affect meditation. 
and crucial to magicians. Remember, it's very important to believe that you're doing more than just breathing. As a matter of fact, you can even improve your physical fitness with the right breathing techniques. And that leads, in turn, to the improvement of your psyche and your astral form. Alright, that's it for today. Now you guys know too. There you are! Finally found you! Hey, Takeba. You hardly ever miss student council meetings. I've been looking all over for you. Did someone ask you to come find me? Well, yeah. I'm not a member or anything, but still. Ah, oh, well. Sorry about that. You've been pretty busy, huh? What with the class trip and all. It's for both second and third years, so I imagine you have your hands full, too. The class trip? Even if I did go, I'd only spoil the fun. Wait, you're not thinking of skipping the trip, are you? <sighs> you can't do that. That's not an option. Hmm? You know, I've been meaning to talk to you. About what? Well, honestly, you're not the easiest person to relate to, but I lost my dad too. And I know what that's like. Talk about. So I've decided I don't want our friendship to be over. I'm going to be more upfront with you from now on. <sighs> there she is! I've been looking everywhere for you. Huh? Ryoji kun? Why are you up here? Huh? Weren't you looking for Miss President, too? I was doing the same thing. Some guy asked me to find her. He said if I didn't, the class trip might get cancelled. Ugh, Odagiri kun He'll hit up anyone in arm's reach for a favor. In any case, looks like I found you, Mitsuru Kirijo-san. And I have to say, you're quite stunning. Maybe we could go out sometime? I know this place on the top floor of a five-star hotel. The restaurant up there has a view of the city nightscape that's almost as breathtaking as you. Nightscape? Senpai, you better head back to the meeting. Oh, right. Talk about. Thank you for coming to find me. For now, I'd better see to my duties. Hey, she left without giving me an answer. For now, huh? I don't like the sound of that. Well, how about you, Yukari-san? Care to join me for dinner? I know this place on Shirakawa Boulevard. Ow! I like to imagine she she kicked them in the nuts. Of course, harsh reaction. I don't know why she just doesn't turn him down gently. Just say no. I have a boyfriend. He's good friends with you. By the way. The fact that this school conducts its field trips every other year is unusual, is it not? So there was no trip last year, which means the current third years haven't gone on their school trip yet. First year students don't go on a trip, so this year the second and third years are going together. Kirujo-san wasn't very receptive when I asked her out. What did I do wrong? Maybe I shouldn't have suggested a different restaurant. She's a, she seems like a tough nut to, tr to crack. She made mention oh. of it. I'm okay now, thanks. I'm here for you too, so don't forget that. Don't stare at me. If someone sees us, they'll start spreading rumors. I feel an unbreakable bond with Dukari. Uh, no. Um, oh yeah, he's gone. What am I doing? So who do we got today? Yuko and Fuka and Chihiro. Let's do Yuko, because again, I want to unlock the, um, the guy in the thing. But first, the guy in, uh, Escapade. Please be here today. 
for fuck's sake. <sighs> oh, damn it, I did it again. When does Class 2F have their next lecture? Listen. Oh, what's up? Oh, I know, you brought me some cake, huh? I'm not a fan of Mont Blanc, but I like all the other kinds. That reminds me. Uh, I didn't mean to say that, but hey, you're here just in time. I forgot to explain something in my last lecture, so I was gonna tell the class real quick. If I don't do it, I'm gonna get reprimanded. It's tough being a teacher. If I explain it to you right now, could you pass it on to everyone else? Yeah, that's the student's job. It doesn't have to be a detailed explanation or anything. Oh, do you have some watermelon the next time... Do you want some watermelon the next time I have some left over? Huh? Ugh. I can practically feel that old stickler Yakota glaring at me. Damn, guess I'll have to do it myself. Well, I might as well practice giving the lecture with you. I mean, you've already established you're not going to give the lecture at my place, right? I listened to Miss Toriyama's... Toriyumi's lecture alone. I decided to give up. For today. Um, sorry, what am I doing? I want... this one. Ugh. You go... go out with me. You know the nightclub at Polonia Mall, right? I never really cared for it since the place seems kind of sketchy. I hear a weird crowd hangs around there. Like there's some guy dressed as a monk partying hard every hmm. night. There's no way he's a real monk, right? Are monks even allowed to drink alcohol? I got a lead. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Oh, that's right. Oh yeah, those kids have, have been have really been getting on my case about this whole coaching thing. The track's open since there's no practice today, so I'm wondering if I should just do it. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> okay, great. I'm gonna ask the teacher for permission to use the track then. I'll see you at the field. Counting on you, coach. toes raised. You'll go even faster that way. Got it, coach! I don't know if that's true, but hey, I'm not a runner, so I don't know. Phew. I did a lot of research on this, so I'm glad to see it's actually working. I mean, now that I've agreed to coach them, I gotta do a good job, right? I even used the school library for the first time to put together a training routine. I gotta say, though, I'm amazed how much their times have improved just from correcting their form. Elementary school kids really learn fast, don't you think? It's because you teach so well. Oh, I don't know about that. But hearing you say so does make me feel like I can do anything. Oh, these kids really give it their all. Oh! Okay, one more round. Hey, hold on a second. You're all supposed to be on break right now. It's important to take time to get good rest. It's your age need to be careful not to overdo it. You could get really hurt. Yeah, but there's no time for that. We can keep going. Come on, we gotta show our fighting spirit. Hmm, I suppose we do only have so many days to train here. I don't know. What do you think? Should I change the training routine? Maybe they should be running more. I trust whatever you decide. Oh, you know what? You're right. I am the one who did all the research on how to avoid straining yourself. All right, listen up. I'm your coach now, so you stop running when I tell you to stop. That's a promise you've got to keep. But in return, I'll make sure you get faster than you've ever been. How does that sound? Think you can keep that promise? Auntie Coach, you're on fire. Yeah, what, she did is. you just call me? All right. Those who agree to the terms, go back to your break. Okay. 
What's wrong with Auntie Coach? That's that's adorable. Oh, sometimes I can't tell if they're actually listening to me or not. This kind of feels good, doesn't it? Like some coming of age story. So, um, thanks for giving your input earlier. Honestly, if I was on my own, I would have let them keep running. I'm glad I asked you to coach with me. It means a lot having you here. She's starting to trust me more. I feel like our relationship has grown. Oh, by the way, the kids seem like they want to run with you. Do you think you could do just one lap? It'd be setting a good example for them. You just told them to stop running. I practiced with the children until the sun went down. Oh, it's you. I will join you at Tartarus tonight. I apologize for worrying everyone. Only our priority, our only priority now is to do something about Tartarus. I'll be counting on you all again. Well, the school trip is next week, so that should be fun. But unfortunately, Amada and Koromaru will have to stay here. So who's going to look after them? You're leaving a dog and a, <coughs> and a kid all alone? Oh, everyone's got new stuff to say. Salut. Are you looking forward to the trip? I sure am. I see. Well, I hope it'll be memorable. Mm. School trip, huh? Fortunately, I can't tag along, so I'll hold the fort. Would you bring me back a souvenir? Oh! Um, preferably something other than a t-shirt or a keychain. Alright, how about... Uh... I don't know. A, a globe, like a snow globe kind of thing? Except with sandy beaches? Um... I, I don't know what else you would really get. I hear they have really good Nama Yatsuhashi? Where are we even going? I don't even know where our trip is. Hmm. Everyone's so overly excited about... Ki oh, Kyoto! Okay, I thought it was a different country. Um, <laughs> the reason I thought that is because in each game you actually go... You actually take trips. I forget where you go in Persona 4. But in Persona 5, you actually go to Hawaii. Uh, was it Hawaii? Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was Hawaii. Uh, I mean, there's a bunch of uh, historic landmarks, but other than that, it's not much different from here. Um. Oh, hi. I was just speaking with Yukari-chan earlier. Did you know that she used to live in Kyoto? I knew that. <laughs> well, maybe we can ask her to be our tour guide. Or would that be rude? Or would that be rude? Every channel is showing news related to apathy syndrome. Of course it is. Uh, hey there. Hey. Excuse me. I'm unable to comprehend the significance of a trip. I thought that it was simply an activity to experience, but it seems to be more complex than that. What do you obtain when you go on a trip? Uh, memories? Experience? Um. How do you benefit from gaining memories? This matter is indeed difficult to comprehend. There's a lot of benefits to memory. What are you talking about? The wait is over. Uh, you can't learn anything yeah. new, right? Remember that? F uh, you remember that we finished that baseball one last time, right? Well, I borrowed another one. I'll pass. Y you think so? Junpei, Akihiko, and Kuromaru. Yeah. So I can either start the monks, or I can actually go... You know what? I'll actually walk Kuromaru. Because again, it's a free kind of like increase. Yeah, let's take it for a walk. Oh, Chihiro. Oh, okay. it's you. What a coincidence. I, uh, ran out of soy sauce, so... Oh, um, is that dog, um... He's not he leashed, so... Bite, does he? I'm actually a little afraid of dogs. 
I was attacked by one when I was little. It only knocked me over, but ever since then... <laughs> what? Ah! Oh, I I'm sorry. I... I'm still a little scared. But maybe I'll be okay with this one. Um, I'm sorry for taking up so much of your time. I'll see you at school then. What she said just brought back a, a terrible memory for me. Um... Uh, I was... Got a few messages. I actually was once, um... Chased by dogs. Actually, twice. Um... They were both really... When I was younger, when I was like... The first time was when I was like maybe... Twelve? And second time when I was like maybe 14 um, and not just like a, one dog like multiple dogs being chased by them like uh, stray dogs like wild dogs and this is when I was out living in the middle of a desert it's it's pretty scary man because these guys like straight not even stray dogs wild dogs um, they are like they'll bite and you don't know where the fuck they've been Thankfully, you know, I've never been bitten by a dog. Well, a wild dog, anyway. But, yeah, it's... That just brought back terrible memories for me. Uh, I've got a few messages. Guess who's bored? And if you don't mind... Um... No school and no track practice. That me guess that means we gotta go somewhere fun. I would, I would, but there's a guy who only hangs out with me on Sundays, so. It's a mate! I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. The bodybuilder support set. Started working out, but struggling to keep at it. On the verge of giving up? Then this is just a thing for good, you. Good, good. First up, we have Sid's jacket. Anyone can look at anyone can look as built as a brick house wearing this. Oh my goodness, it's wonderful. But wait. There's more. Not bad, kid. We'll throw in this mega protein too. Guess how many? Eight! This many. Forty thousand yen. Okay, I'm I'm actually gonna look up what Sid's jacket does uh, because forty thousand is is pretty goddamn hefty. Okay, so it's basically just got endure on it. Yeah, so I'm not gonna bother with it. It's forty thousand, and I don't need more HP items. Don't buy. Thanks, kid. An enticing jewelry but set. Hmm. On the next episode of Phoenix Ranger Featherman R, episode 39. Roll those dice. Save the world with a natural 20. On to today's news, the thief who targeted apathy syndrome victims was caught yesterday. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that, to be honest. Oh, I don't know why I did that. Just wanted to see if there's anyone in the hallway here. Amara! Um. Mitsuru-san and Sanada-san have been the ones taking charge this whole time. But now even they don't know what to do. What's gonna happen to us? Arf arf! Are you telling me not to worry, Koromaru? You're such a brave dog. It, I can't move or anything. He seems ready for anything. I... okay. Oh, I petted him. I'm like, I don't even know what I'm doing. Oh, he shook his hand! 
So, uh... Sun out of sun is going through a tough time, too. This is bad, man. What if the third years decide to quit seas? I don't know if we can handle things on our own, man. But that's... Junpei-san, don't say that sort of thing. <laughs> Sir, still not 100% yet, and I don't know what we should be doing. Damn it, how long is this situation gonna last? So, that actually brings up a good question. What, um... If Ikutsuki is, is, you know, betrayed us and is dead, and Kirijo's dad is also dead, who's looking after us? Who's looking after the dorm? Like, who took over? We know absolutely nothing about all this shit going on. You're here. <laughs> I'm alright. It'll pass soon. Yeah. Spend time with Kamiki. That's it. Glad you came. Just give me a minute so I can calm down. You can do this. Right. Thank you. I'm fine. The pain comes and goes, but I'll be all right once it passes. I stopped taking my medicine. It's not going to cure me anyway, right? It just eases my pain and suffering. Why did you stop? My medicine makes me drowsy. And if my hands go numb, then I can't write. I have to finish my story. The reason I haven't finished my story is because I haven't found the meaning of my life yet. I'll get absorbed in my writing, erase it, and then lose sight of how to reach the end. When I'm with you, I can almost see it. It's because you've been here for me. It seems like you might have given me a reason to finish. I'm probably writing this book to find my own meaning in life. And if I do find it, if I do finish the story, I hope we have a little more time together after that. Kamiki smiled weakly. The sun is setting. That's it for today. But I hope to see you again. Welcome back. <laughs> I don't know what it is about Kamiki, but... I, I always feel so humbled every time I talk to him. It's not like that. I wasn't born in Kyoto or anything. I just lived there for a bit. But our classmates keep asking if I'll show them around. It's getting annoying. I know they're just excited for the trip, but I'm really not in the mood to be everyone's tour guide. So she can help with the plants. Which is good. So I can go talk to the monk as well. Um, I think I'll oh. plant tonight. That's fine. All right, let's go. Yes. Oh, we already planted something before. That should be enough for today. School trips tomorrow. Are you all packed? Hey, listen! You bet I am. Got it all covered. Yukata, bathing suit, flashlight, snacks. 
Kara. Oh, right. You don't travel light, do you? So, in this section... Tomorrow, you'll leave on your field trip. Ah, Kyoto. Home of my heart. Some teachers think you should be out visiting foreign countries, but I shut those ideas down every single year. It's shameful, the way we've lost our passion for our homeland. I mean, in a way, he's got a point. You should always... While, like, you know, learning about more cultures, going out and experiencing the world is amazing and should always be encouraged. It, it's good to kind of learn about your own homeland, too. Like, I've... I've been in Canada for... Like, I wasn't born in Canada. I've been here for about... It's been 25 years now, basically. Um, and I've barely explored the the continent, let alone the... Like, the, I, I barely explored the country, let alone the province. Um, that said, like, I, I do love exploring. Like, I love more mountainous areas, as I mentioned before, but, yeah. It's, it, it's good. I've toured the world a lot. Like, I've gone to so many different countries. Um, and it's kind of, uh, it's, it's kind of a shameful thing to say I haven't even looked at my own country yet. And again, let alone my own province. Uh, why don't we spend some time today learning about our country's innate beauty? I'm sure your other teachers haven't covered, uh, all that, that's for sure. Uh, you all know that our national flower is the cherry blossom, right? However, back in the days of the Manyoshu, if you were to ask someone what it was, they'd tell you it was the plum. I actually did know that. Uh, no. Yes, precisely. Anyway, so one day, my neighbor invited me over to her house. She fed me absolute gruel. I'll never forget the taste. Well, I still tried to offer her something in return, but she only kept waving off my gift. Humility is the true Japanese way. But not for you children today. No, you lot are nothing but... Ingrateful? Yeah, sorry, ungrateful ingrates. That's what I meant to say. Excuse me. Most of the people I appear are nervous... Most of the people I meet... I... Most of the people I meet appear nervous about the upcoming trip. I can't read today, man. Are you nervous, Mikoto-san? Uh, how about you, I, I guess? Suppose. I don't know. Do I seem like I am? Not really. Hey, listen. Tomorrow we leave for our trip. I can't wait. Okay. Um, let me go to the Velvet Room first in case... Let me see if I can pick up any um, I'm looking new forward quests to it. before I go on the thing. Here are my requests. No, what do I even have again? So Odin juice. I still can't figure out what this is, well, like where I get this. So we talked to that do person. Do you have any siblings? I, myself, have a useless younger brother. Perhaps I shall introduce you to him one day. Is it Ryoji? Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, I'm trying. No, 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 no. I guess nothing new. Very well. Um, so it looks like Fuka we can meet most of the time. Maybe we can start Hidetoshi. Um, first let's try again getting the fucking helmet. How about you go, like, during recess or something and talk to the guy? Be like, have you brought it yet? It's been, like, three fucking weeks. And this here. I should get going since there's no time to waste. 
If I power walk to the station, uh, it'll take seven minutes. But if I consider the speed at which the train pulls into the station, three minutes might not be enough. Oh yeah, I'm in charge of dinner tonight, so that's another 12 minutes to get groceries. I better compensate for the pressure ratio when mashing potatoes to avoid ineff inefficiency. If an average potato's diameter is about 12 centimeters, then that comes out to... Oh, forget it. Going home isn't worth the trouble. I'm staying at school. What's up? Oh, it's you. Did you want to stay the night at school, too? <laughs> You're looking for Mr. Ono? Now that you mention, I haven't seen that helmet lately. Oh, uh, I mean that teacher. I don't have time to fritter away looking for him either. So try again later. By the way, you know that helmet is is really is a nice piece. I'd never say no to Mr. Ono's face because I'd never hear the end of it. But it's fine craftsmanship. The curved line at the top, it's an ideal arc for absorbing impact. An arc like that can absorb about 48% of the impact from above. Then there's the material. It's not just a thick chunk of metal. It's extremely thin metal, in fact layered with finely braided hemp for added practicality. Mr. Takenozu Takenozuka keeps going on and on with his lecture. And that's how it's done. So that explains that. See? Isn't it a wonderful specimen? Hmm? Its origin? I wouldn't know anything about that. I have zero interest in archaeology. I learned about how I learned how ancient helms are constructed. Oh, yeah. Um, let's... Well, I'm tempted to go with Fuka. I think I might just start this guy. Um... Oh, but I need... Thing. Do I max personas? I do. Uh, well, I don't need the star one anymore, technically. No, I'll just go with Fuka. Let's do it. How about we go to the rooftop? The view up there is so nice. So, there's actually something I want you to try. And this time, it isn't just for a taste test. I think you'll actually be able to eat it. Wait, uh, maybe I said the same thing last time. Well, now I mean it. Did you taste it? Luca presents me with a bento box. There are rice balls wrapped in seaweed inside. Oh, that sounds so good. They smell good. I decided to try one. It's edible, at least. The rice tastes good, and it has just the right amount of seasoning. In fact, I'd go so far as to say it's delicious. Well, how is it? You did a great job. Really? I'm so glad to hear that. Thank you. You know how I said I was having trouble with cooking? Well... I decided to try and find a recipe that even I couldn't mess up. And after a lot of consideration, I thought maybe making rice balls is something I could handle. But then I got really absorbed in how simple they are to make, yet still so hard to master. I made some rice balls today in home economics class too. I know it's a little silly to make something so basic in high school, but it was all I could manage. But then... Everyone Baby steps. in the class told me they were really good, though. Let's go. That's that's awesome. Anyways, I've been really looking forward to have you try one. I wanted you to see how much progress I've made. Because I don't think I could have made it this far without you. I didn't do anything. But you did, though. You taught me so much. I know I've said this before, but when I'm with you and the rest of the team... I'm able to see things more positively. And I think the most important thing is the feeling of wanting to make others happy. That might be the reason why I made such good rice balls. Because I was thinking about who was going to eat them. Uh, 
Um, thank you. I'm the one that should be thanking you. Um, I just wanted to say thank you so much. Really. Luca seems to really appreciate me. a trick to making good rice balls. The first thing to note is while you're washing the rice... I spend the day listening to focus tips on making rice balls. Welcome back! What's up, dude? Tomorrow's a school trip. I'm so psyched. Kinda sucks that we're only going to Kyoto, though. Huh? Hmm. Junpei-san seems to have his energy back. I guess there was no reason to worry about him. <laughs> huh? What are you talking about? I'm always energetic. By the way, you better behave while we're gone. Don't go throwing any parties. Got it? Yes. I won't. Oh, and please don't worry about bringing me back a souvenir. Huh? Hey, are you trying to use reverse psychosis? It's reverse psychosis on me or something? No. Uh, no, of course not. It's just that Kyoto has a ton of great tasting snacks. Hmm. In this world, there are things you can't change, so it's better to focus on those things you can. Got that, Bray? Right. Basically, what I'm trying to say is, let's have a blast on the school trip. Okay, if you say somewhere. Let me think. Mitsuru finally decided to go on the school trip, too. I was really worried she wouldn't, so that's one piece of good news. Hi, I'm Trish with today's installment of Who's Who. Today's subject has blue hair, strange makeup, a guitar case, and an odd way of walking. He's both a sushi, se sushi chef and a band leader. And today's his birthday. Next is news. Apathy syndrome, go away. Indeed. All right, everyone's up here. It must be really difficult to bounce back from such a painful incident. But the school trip only happens once, so I really hope she can make some good memories there. About that. Yeah, I know, but... <sighs> well, it's not like it'll help fix our current situation. Maybe a trip will give us a chance to clear our heads or something. No! Yes. Besides, partaking a school trip is a rare occurrence. It would be suboptimal to waste such an opportunity. You think so? Yeah, I guess so. Excuse me. I understand how important a school trip is for everyone. I, at first you didn't. I thought that this trip was simply a means for temporary peace of mind. In other words, comfort. However, it is something more meaningful that will boost morale for future battles, is it not? What? That might be a bit of an exaggeration. But I do hope everyone enjoys this trip. <laughs> I hope so too. But it's hard to have fun when literally everything else is on my mind. I wonder when we'll be able to figure out how to move forward. Indeed. Come on up here. Uh, we haven't checked the console in a little while. Let's see if there's anything new. I thought there was someone standing there for a minute. Seems to be a new recording. Let's watch it. like Amada's room. This room really is too small to practice in. But come to think of it, I guess I don't have to practice in secret anymore. Although, I don't live on the first floor here, so I might be disturbing the people downstairs. Hmm... I chose a long weapon so I could match the reach of an adult. But then I learned that long weapons are actually better suited for tall people. Is that true? Oh, <sighs> that has to hurt. Oh, I hit my shin again. Jeez, I hope I get taller soon. Oh yeah, where'd my milk go? Chug it all down, bro. <sighs> I'm 
Maybe I should be drinking more milk. Hmm. It hurts my stomach sometimes, though. <sighs> the recording ends here. Is there another new one or no? No. As someone who grew up eating cereal pretty much every single day with milk, um, I can honestly say I don't think it really helps make you much taller. Like, I'm... I'm fairly average. I'm like 5'11". So... I mean, I'm over average. Because I think the average is like 5'9". If I'm not mistaken. But, I mean, it's not going to make you like over 6 feet tall. Unless I was going to end up being like... 5'2", like Tom Cruise height or something. But, yeah. Uh, no thing today. That's okay. That's all right. Um, so he's not going to learn anything new, right? No. Not now. So what I'm going to do... Is I will do this. Um, and I will do... I'll do Fuka again. Um, actually, no, I'll do Yuko. <sighs> Alright, school trip time. I was considering going to Tartarus, but... Eh. I think we should be okay. Seems like we're fairly a little bit overpowered anyway. Today I'm leaving on the f class field trip. Training is scheduled to arrive in Kyoto in the afternoon. I hope we make some good memories. Kyoto, huh? That's so cliche. Huh? You're not a fan? I'd say it's a beautiful city to make some good memories in while we're still young. Man, is that really the first thing you think? It makes you sound like an old geezer when you say that kind of stuff. It does? Hmm? <sighs> Thank goodness, she actually made it. You know, one thing I actually will say, um, for those of you that haven't played uh, Strikers, Persona 5 Strikers, um, if you're interested in, like, Japan, it, it actually is um, a game where you go across the country of Japan, like, hitting certain, um, uh, s certain like, key areas, I guess. Uh, like, Shibuya is where you basically started, because the whole uh, Persona 5 basically takes place in Shibuya. Uh, which is kind of like, uh, well, near Shibuya anyway. Um, where it's basically like, I think it's a downtown hub of, uh, J like, Japan. I don't think it's actually in Tokyo. I, d I don't know. I'm terrible with geography. Um, but you actually hit, I think, six or seven different locations all across Japan in uh, Strikers. Um, and it really is cool. Like, to my uh, knowledge, it's... Um, like, it actually manages to emulate those areas, like, pretty well. Like, uh, the in terms of the, uh, like, the layout of of the areas. Because Shibuya, like, in the first game, like, if you go to, like, any Reddit post of people that actually visited Shibuya, like, in real life and took pictures and, like, compared them to how it looks in, the, in Persona 5, like, in the game, like, it's pretty much spot on. Like, it, it's actually incredible. The depths, like, the developers went into to make it look like it was actually like pure Japan. So my understanding is like the all the different areas represented in strikers are like pretty exact. Minor changes here and there, but it um it's it, it's it's pretty cool. That said, if you haven't played uh Persona 5 bef you should play 5 before you play Strikers. You should play like the base game. Like 
the first game. You know what I mean. We transfer to a tour bus after arriving at Kyoto Station. The sun has already set. And I love, like, the Japanese culture. Like, it's just so cool. Higashiyama Sanjo Godaigo Inn. And here we are! Whoa, nice place! Yeah, this part of town is pretty fancy. Hey, what's that umbrella for? Um... Fashion? Ah, I see. So that's the style here in Kyoto, huh? So, which way to the geishas? Oh my god. You think we can ask them to put on a show? Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Hope it's not too pricey. Keep dreaming, Junpei. Like, that is... I love... Uh, the stone that... area outside is filled with water. Yeah. Is this one of those open air hot springs I've the heard hot about? Hot springs are gorgeous, man. Yep. Or why don't you find out? No! I guess you can't go in there! A bath wouldn't be so out in the open like this! Come on, don't lie to her! Sorry, Oji. Where was your old school planning to go for their trip? Probably somewhere cool like another country, I bet. Kyoto's so typical, don't you think? Hmm? Me? A trip. Hmm. Did we even have one? How do you not know? That's an event most people tend to remember. It is? Alright, you can all chat later. You're blocking the hallway. Girls, your rooms are that way. Go on and get yourselves unpacked. You heard her. We'll see you later then. Yeah, we'll see you later, dude. Yes, I shall see you later, Yukari san. Okay, okay, enough of this. <laughs> I guess you're with us. Junpei, guy's room. Man. Man. <laughs> All right. Carefree third year. Uh, student council president seems upset. Does she think we're being immature or something? You don't read the newspaper, do you? Her father recently died. You seriously didn't know? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I tried my hand at sneaking out, but still got cut. Well, guess we had to head to our room now. Come on, let's hustle. Or else Miss Toriyumi might get pissed at us. Hey there. Did you know the hot spring here is really famous? Every few hours, there's a surprise. <laughs> okay, I, I don't know what that's hey, in reference what's up? to. Hurry, hurry, hurry. You can talk later. Hurry up and get to your rooms. I don't want to get yelled at for your behavior. Yes? Do you not know which room you're in? I don't know. Uh-huh. To get to your room, go up the stairs and turn right. Your end. Your room will be on the... Your room will be on the right-hand side at the end of the hall. Got it? Now go. What a room number. That'd be that'd be also nice. Tomochika Miyamoto. Yo, what's up? Check this out. The hot springs over there, right? Now, if you consider how the garden is fenced. Are you seriously trying to peep? You do know you can get arrested for that, right? Of course not. I'm not stupid. But just imagine the steamy paradise beyond the garden fence. Close your eyes and focus. Then you'll see everything inside your mind. Give it up, you idiot. No way you can see a damn thing like that. Give up? Never! Nothing is impossible. Okay. Can you call yourself an athlete? Where's your spirit? You're the only one holding yourself back. You gotta push your limits to succeed. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day you'd teach me something about sportsmanship. You're right. I'm not gonna give up. I'll never give up! I'm gonna see naked ladies. What's up? Come on in. Six Hara clerk? Anything catch your eye? What would you like? 
Oh, uh... Oh my god, these are expensive. You know what? I'll buy them, because... Why the fuck not? Much maybe... Appreciated. Maybe I can give them to someone or something. There's a lot of famous Kyoto sweets lined up. Oh, what? Should I buy... Sorry, I thought I was going to say it again. They're all unique to Kyoto, making them popular souvenirs. So many different sweets are on display, and they're all eye-catching. Should I buy something as a souvenir? Yeah, well, see, I was right. Kyoto crafts. Looks like these were all crafted in Kyoto. It's easy to tell how much effort the artist had exerted by the delicate and elegant shapes. Cool. Okay, let's head upstairs. Ooh, the lucky cat. Just because we're on a trip doesn't mean we can go crazy and do whatever we want, you know. Yeah, you're right. Honestly, staying at an inn like this doesn't feel much different from our everyday dorm life. I think I'll just head to bed. Hopefully my run tomorrow proves to be more exciting. Board student. If I knew we'd be trapped in our rooms, I'd have brought games or something. Okay. Oh, hey. Even though we were just on a train the whole day, I'm feeling pretty tired. Being on a train or like on a plane, like actually takes a lot out of you. But you know what? I've been totally psyched for this trip. I want to sample the local food, hit the hot springs, shop for souvenirs. Oh, and I'm a pro at pillow fights. I sling them so fast they'll never see it coming. Then after lights out, we girls get together and gush about who we like. And this year, I've got a lot to say. Oh, oh, by the way, have you checked out this vending machine? You don't really see these drinks back home. Maybe I should buy some as a souvenir. Maybe. <coughs> uh, durian soda. Yeah, why not? Jumbo juice. How much were they? I didn't even notice. Oh, too late. Everyone says tomorrow's the ordinary sightseeing. What's so ordinary about it? Well, I'll just follow along as he for myself. You do that, man. You do that. It's an emergency exit. It's against the rules to go out at night during the school trip. I shouldn't leave the inn. So that's Fuji room. Mountain room. Oh, is this my actual room? Oh, no, it's not. Hmm? Do I have my Yukata on straight? Yukata. Yukata on straight. It doesn't seem right. I'm calling dibs on this futon. This corner is the best one. Hey, did you see them filming something in the city? I guess it's really, it's a really touristy spot. It must be used to seeing celebrities around here. True. You know, I hadn't considered... I forgot they like sleep on the floors and shit. I can't sleep with a pillow that isn't mine. I know the feeling, bro. I know the feeling. I check out the other rooms here. Fairly delinquent suit. We're visiting shrines tomorrow. Honestly, why bother? I think I'll fake sick and relax in here instead. I mean, sure. But it's not like there's much to do in here either. Hello. Are you on patrol as well? Just kidding. I plan on enjoying myself on this trip. I only hope there won't be any trouble while... 
Hey there, Odagiri-kun. Have you tried these complimentary snacks? Ah, they're so tasty. No, I haven't had the chance to... There's nothing left. Aren't those snacks supposed to be limited to one per person? Oh, really? Oops, I ate them all. Sorry. <sighs> I figured. I'll just pretend there weren't any in the first place. I mean, I'm sure they'll bring me another one tomorrow or something. Just rice balls. From what I can see, anyway. And, oh, I was about to say no one in here. How come our school trip is in Japan? Dude, we gotta go abroad or there's no point. I hear it's Akota's fault. Every other teacher wanted to go out of the country, but Akota assisted on Kyoto. Seriously? That guy sucks. Uh, actually, it's that other teacher who always shoots down um, international travel. International excursions. Oh my god, there's a, another set of floors. This is the ladies, I take it? Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, it's you. If you want to know more about the trip, you can find the details in the itinerary over there. Check it out. It's a trip itinerary. There are details of the schedule for all three days of the school trip. Okay, uh, apparently I can't see. I love how we could just walk into the girls' rooms. High spirited student. Some people think that visiting shrines is boring, but I'm really looking forward to it. I'm gonna go romance shrines and pray a lot. I'm gonna go to romance shrines and pray a lot. So the TV's in there. Wait. There, there was a window there. See that? Or is that a picture? No, it looks like a window. But why would there be a window outside looking at? That's so weird. That's totally a window. But even then, it looks different. Yeah. <laughs> Concerned students. I wonder if Kirojo san will be alright. She's been so depressed lately. I'm worried too, but we should leave her be for now. Us trying to cheer her up won't help. Yeah, you're right. Still feel, still, it feels so heavy in there that I can't bring myself to talk about anything. If you say so. She's starting to open up though. She's, she's okay. Anticipating student. Hey, do you have anyone to go around with tomorrow? Oh wait, are you going out with someone? I. It's a secret. Ugh, that's no fun. Way to kill the conversation there. Alright, fine. I am. Aw, oh, bummer. But if you got a girlfriend, don't you think you... Don't think you can fool around just because you're on a trip. Girls get really mad when you do that, you know. Depends on the girl. Should I buy some to drink? Yeah, why not? So, 110. They're all 110. There's a telephone, but I don't need to call anyone in particular right now. How about Amada? See how he's doing. Kinkakuji Temple? Kiyomizu Temple? Are you kidding me? If we're in Kyoto, it's got to be about the Shinsengumi. That's what I'm talking about. Ikitaya's remains? And then... Oh my god, guys. And the Nishihongan Temple, right? No, I won't have enough time. I just butchered, like, the fucking language. Just butchered those names. Student with heavy makeup. I can't let people see me without my makeup on. I'll have to wait for everyone to go to sleep before I take it off. Why, are you a dude in there? Under all that makeup? Talkative student. We're going to do nothing but share girl talk all night. It's nothing better than that. I usually sleep in a bed, so sleeping on a futon is a new experience for me. But I tend to move around a lot at night. I'm worried that I'll end up kicking the girl sleeping next to me. So is that what they're called? A futon, I guess? 
Yeah, I guess. I love wearing a yukata. It makes me feel so classy and traditional. It's getting me all excited. Yukatas are pretty cool. Kick your room. I'm gonna kick your room. Nobody. Wait, it says there's something here. Or is that where I've just been walking around? I think it's just where we're walking around. Yeah, okay. Well, I've checked everything out. Nothing more I can do. Let's go to our room. Should I head to bed? Head to bed. Um, sorry, one second. Let me check the ground floor again. In case there's something I missed. This folding screen is very eye-catching. I wonder if a famous artist worked on it. A courtyard garden with a traditional aesthetic can be seen from the corridor window. It's a breathtaking view with a touch of elegance. Hot spring. This is the entrance to the hot spring. Looks big enough for several people to bathe at once. Ooh, kinky. It's against the rules to go out at night during the school trip. It's a brochure about different tourist attractions in Kyoto. There are so many places to visit, it'd be difficult to see everything in three days. I mean, true. Very true. Okay, I guess we're just heading to bed. School excursion, day two. That was considered the first day? That sucks. Today's itinerary, visiting Kyoto's historical sites. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I went sightseeing around Kyoto aboard a tour bus. It was much more exciting seeing the historical locations in person than in photos. In the afternoon, we all went our separate ways to the Kamogawa River near the hotel. We should probably head back. We don't want to miss curfew. <sighs> Not to mention, Shijo Street will be crawling with drunks and couples the longer we stay. Why are you so concerned about me? We all are. It was our fight that brought us together, and now that fight is over. We have no common goal, no enemy to defeat. You have no reason to associate with me anymore. You don't have to be hurtful about this. We've reached our conclusion. Why should we keep fighting? Everything I believed in was a lie. And in the end, I... You what? You couldn't protect someone important to you? Is that what you're trying to say? You said you wanted to atone for the Kirijo group's past, but that's not true. You were really only fighting to protect your father. That's right. I fought to protect him, and look what happened! I was blinded by my trust for Ikutsuki, and fell right into his trap. There was nothing I could do. My father bore the burden of responsibility entirely on his own. And ever since that incident, he looked like he was dead inside. I fought so he could be free of the shame and guilt weighing down on him. But it was all pointless. I never should have gotten involved. Am I wrong? Sorry, but we don't know that for sure yet. You know... <laughs> I used to live around here. After my dad died, my mom spent all her time throwing herself at random men. I couldn't stand seeing that side of her. So I used to come out here to the riverbank to get away. <laughs> at that point, believing in my dad was all I had. Your father only did what he thought was best. 
He was involved in dangerous work, but in the end, he fought to make things right. He believed the shadows needed to be stopped, even if it meant losing his life. That's why I choose to fight. I'm going to destroy the Dark Hour and finish what my dad started. Finish what he started. That's all I can do. That we can do. Right, Mitsuru-senpai? Takeba. You're right. It's not over just yet. We're going to see this through to the end. For my father's sake. And for yours. Senpai. Yukari. Let's face what comes next together. Okay? Of course. All right, <laughs> let's head on back and check out the bath. The bath? Yeah, the outdoor hot spring back at the hotel. It's really nice. Now that everything's out in the open, we have nothing left to hide. Nothing? <sighs> well, no. This is awkward. Hey, stop blushing. You're making this awkward for both of us. Come on, let's get going. It's already past curfew. You don't need to worry, Father. I'm not alone. And I won't turn back anymore. The resolution in Mitsuru's heart has awakened a new persona. Mitsuru's persona Penthesilea has given rise to Artemisia. Massive almighty damage to one foe and lowers all of their stats. Interesting. Please, watch over me. I mean, I don't think ultimately it'll make too much of a difference because these bosses probably have like really high stats. Hey, look at my Yukata. Yuki's Yukata. I underestimated Kyoto. There's too much to see here. I wonder where I should go tomorrow. How you doing, Makoto Han? I've never heard of Han before. Did they meant to say Chan? Ah, ha 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 ha. What do you. <laughs> ah ha, ha, ha. What do you think? My Kyoto accent's pretty good, huh? Oh. I guess they say Han. I guess different dialects, maybe? I'm going to get Nama Yatsuhashi as a souvenir. Hey, did you did you know? Regular Yatsuhashi is baked. Interesting. Come on in. Anything? I'll pretend to know Too what much that was. Come Wait. on in. Anything? Sorry. Yeah, I got the Yatsuhashi. Much appreciated. You guys are still talking. Courtyard garden with the traditional setup can be seen out from the corridor window. It's a breathtaking view with a touch of elegance. Oh, hey. You already changed into your Yukata? Damn, you're fast. Dude, you won't believe what Miyamoto did today. Help me talk some sense into him. And do you always have to wear that stupid jersey? Of course I do. This way, I'm ready to run wherever, whenever. Duh. That's the problem. You literally just run off. You have no idea how exhausted I am because of you. Do you know what this guy did? He went on a mad dash up the hill at Kiyomizu Dera. The rest of our group had to chug along to try and keep up with him. Look, man, if you see an incline, you gotta run uphill. That's what a real athlete does. Right? Uh, yeah. That's what we all do. It seems like Mitsuru's overcome her pain. I don't know what happened, but I'm relieved to see that she's feeling better. Oh man, are we actually gonna go in people's rooms again? Ugh, they all say something new. Tried to go to the girls' rooms at midnight last night, but a teacher was guarding the stairs. How am I gonna get up there? 
Oh, hey. I must say, the tour today wore me out. I was looking forward to going sightseeing around this historical city, but... Yeah, it was one thing after another today. Some of the older ladies in our tour group passed out right in front of us. I'm glad you were there, Keisuke. Thanks to you, the situation wasn't nearly as bad as it could have been. Nevertheless, it was a shocking turn of events. Yeah, even the tour guide passed out. Oh my god. The way you took charge and directed traffic was really impressive though, Odagiri-kun. Have you ever considered becoming a police officer in the future? Huh? No, I hadn't given it any thought before. Uh, let's head to the hot springs. I'm covered in sweat after that whole ordeal. Yeah, why were you guys doing all that? Like, why are you guys taking care of all that shit? Man, the hot spring is huge. Felt so good that I swam around. I swam a whole lap. Dude, just because it's big doesn't mean you should swim in it. I mean... I mean... I mean... So tired of touring shrines and stuff. All this touristy stuff is boring. Uh, maybe I should sneak out later to hit the arcade. Maybe. Oh, you're wearing a yukata! Looking good! Thank you. It's a different look than usual. Maybe I should go get changed too. Maybe you should. Anything new? No. Nope. Tomorrow's the last day of the trip. I should find somewhere else to sightsee. Well, I guess we do something with him. I was worried about not being able to sleep, but I slept like a log last night. This is one fine inn. Your cushions are world class. Oh, is this guy complaining about the pillow? Um, bu -bu -bum. There were doodles all, all over my face when I woke up this morning. In oil-based ink. This is pathetic. I'll get my revenge if I have to stay up all night. Did you check out the souvenir shop downstairs? Six Hara is a pretty weird name for it. Yeah. Drawing is so, like, middle school. Drawing on the faces. Like, in high school, whenever we went on trips and shit, like, even my buddies, we'd put, dip the hands in cold, in warm water uh, while they were sleeping. For those of you that doesn't don't know what it means, look it up. I think you'll be... Surprised at what Just that now, does. I saw Yukari san and Mitsuru san leave the vicinity together. Wait, what? Just now, I saw Yukari. Yukari and Mitsuru. Interesting. Just now. No. Just. Oh my god. I saw Yukari chan and Kirijo senpai together earlier. They looked like they were having fun chatting with each other. You don't see that very often. They're even play fighting. I, I saw Yukari hit Mitsuru. It looked like fun. <clears throat> when I went to the romance shrine, there were loads and loads of girls just praying desperately. I asked what all the fuss was about, and it turns out they were all fans of Sonata Senpai. Oh my god. Normally, they'd get angry if one of them made a move like that, but they were all there together. Sorry, Sonata, you're about to be fucking hexed, I guess, by the, by the gods. Tomorrow's the last night. Why don't we go sneak into the guy's room? We can't let Ikota catch us, though. Kirijo-san left somewhere. A second year came by, er came by earlier looking for her, too. I think her name was Takeba-san. I have no idea where either of them went, though. New here? No. Sorry if you guys don't care about the rooms, but I'm just curious what people have to say. I made sure to wake up earlier than anyone else this morning so I could 
put my makeup on first. I really don't want anyone seeing me without it. Who cares? You got your face is gonna be so fucked up when you're older. We were up too late last night talking. I'm so sleepy today. But I got some really good dirt on some people, so it was definitely worth it. My friend said that this inn is haunted. But you hear ghost stories no matter where you go. It's all just superstition. That is true. You hear ghost stories everywhere you go. I bought a lot of Kyoto sweets when we were allowed to walk around on our own. I want to try them, but if I eat them all now, I'll get chunky. What should I do? Maybe eat some now and some tomorrow and some the day after. Have some discipline. And no one in here. Okay, that's all the rooms. Uh, can I go in my room? No, not yet. Let's see what he wants. Hey there! Oh, Makoto-kun, I had a favor to ask. Yukari-san told me that there's a riverbank nearby with a great view. Would you like to check it out with me tomorrow? Should I spend my free time with Ryoji tomorrow? Oh, um... Huh? No? Oh, did you already make plans? Well, let me know if you change your mind. I prefer to finalize my plans now, if possible. Um... Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let me save. You know, sorry again, guys. I'm actually going to look this up. I hate doing this, but... Okay, sorry about that, guys. Um, yeah, I, I, so I looked it up. The reason I looked it up is because, um, I wanted to see what I would get out of it. Like, I don't know if there's anything else I would need to do during my free time. Um, and I looked it up, but I didn't look at any spoilers or anything just to see like what people recommend. They're like, you should do it. So, um, let's, hey, let's do it. Thanks. I'll come find you when we start heading back tomorrow. I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it. School excursion, day three. Today's itinerary, free time within the city. Oh my god. Mitsuru seems to have cheered up. She's being friendly with her classmates, and especially Yukari. I wonder what happened. You can always ask. Wow. I didn't know you could come all the way down here. Going on trips is great, huh? I've seen a lot of the sights here now, and everything is so fascinating. There's so much I've never seen before. My mind's having trouble keeping up. I even bought myself a souvenir. Look, it's a music box. Doesn't it sound nice? I don't know the name of the song, though. I think I like it. <laughs> I'm kind of glad to hear you say that. Sometime, way down the line, I'll listen to this melody. And when I do, I'll think back fondly on this trip. The evening sun is so bright, reflecting off the water's surface. It's different from the view we get from the school roof. I wonder if this is the reason why people come to visit. But did you know, a long time ago, this place used to be an execution site. How do you know that? Well, that teacher with the helmet, um, Mr. Ono, he was talking about it. 
He said there are numerous records of historical figures being publicly executed here. I've heard rivers have long been thought to be a border between this world and the afterlife. But with so many couples around, it doesn't really give that impression, huh? You know, I've been thinking, every one of us will die someday, right? Eventually, the time will come when we have to part. So then, why? Why do people try so hard to connect with each other? I'm not just talking about romance either. It's the same for friends, family, everyone. For each person you connect with, it just makes saying goodbye that much harder. So, what's the point? Sorry guys, the, the reason I'm hesitating is because I personally don't agree with any of these answers. Uh, that's not why I seek connections. I personally seek connections to um, basically, uh, in a way you could kind of say it's more selfish, but I guess relationships in general are kind of for selfish reasons. Um, but I like to learn about other people. I like... Um, it's the experience, the the human experience of, um, you know, bonding and um, sharing experiences together. Uh, it, yeah, like sharing experiences and like learning off of one another and developing yourself. That's why I seek connections. Necessary to survive. We don't want to feel lonely. These connections are inevitable. Inevitable. Not my first, second, or third choice of answers, really necessary to survive there are many people that are hermits it's not necessary to survive we don't want to feel lonely there's a lot of people that don't want to be around other people like hermits they they just want to be by themselves they don't want to talk to anyone those connections are inevitable i don't agree with that either i don't want to say i don't know I feel like these are all kind of the same thing. You know, I'm gonna say I don't know. Right? It just doesn't make sense. But still, hmm. perhaps reaching our end before we figure it out is for the best. Oops, sorry. Conversation got a bit heavy there. Looking out at the river just made me think about things for some reason. If you follow the flow of water, you'll eventually reach the ocean, right? Its destination is already decided, but it takes so many different forms before it gets there. Sometimes it's quiet and calm, other times it's choppy rapids. Sometimes it's clear, but other times murky. I imagine we're the same way. Never we're considered all that in the before. midst of a long journey. It's a really nice with all analogy. All kinds of things happening as we go along. I never realized any of this until coming on this trip with you. Everything feels that much more fascinating when you're here. I guess you could say, it expands my horizons. Time spent talking together with you like this just feels precious to me. It, this is basically what I'm talking about. Exactly what he's feeling right now. That's why I seek connections. Um, again, just to better develop myself. Um, and share experiences with people. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessary. I don't think it's necessarily because we're lonely. I mean, sure, obviously, people get married, people have kids, people want to live in, like, cities. They don't want to feel lonely. But that, again, this is just me personally. <laughs> it kind of sounds like I'm confessing my love or something, huh? <sighs> the wind is chilly out here by the water. But we should probably head back. I don't want to get in the way of all the couples. I walked along the riverbank with Ryoji, then returned to the hotel. I feel like I understand him a little better now. Oh, nice.
I received a message. We're going. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. I mean it. I mean, we just gotta. Come find me when you're free. I should talk to Junpei later. Uh, anything new here? Come on in. Anything? No. Much appreciated. That's a pickled turnip. Ew. I hate pickles and turnips. Boy with ulterior motives. Dude, do you think they have a mixed gender bath here? Uh, of course not. Yeah, I guess not. I, I don't think they would have a mixed gender bath anywhere. It's already the last night of our trip. All we ever did was visit the temples, but I think I'm going to miss it here once we get home. There's just one thing I regret. Where is the girl of my dreams? Aren't romantic encounters supposed to happen on school trips? That's all you ever talk about. Isn't it about time you grow up? Wow, look at you all high and mighty. Even though you're the one sneaking glances at Takeba-san and her yukata. Hey, she's taken. What? I, I wasn't looking at her. This is the first time I have seen a bathtub this large. Although, it seems highly inefficient to leave the hot water running. Um, I guess. Where, where are your feet? You, you probably... I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna. Junpei was looking for you downstairs. I'm aware. <sighs> my back's cluttered inside since I just threw my clothes in at random. Better take care not to leave any undies behind. People will wonder who left them. Especially Koda. Could just see him asking everyone when we gather at the station. Why would Dakota go in everyone's rooms like that? Hey, do you happen to see any tears in my pants at all? Maybe that was a bit much. The Kamagawa River has a nice ambiance, huh? You see, Odagiri-kun was trying to skip rocks across its surface, but he lost his footing and... Can we please drop the topic? Besides, I'd say you're partially at fault for challenging me to hit the opposite bank, Keisuke. Aw, don't you want to see if it's possible? The wind was blowing in the perfect direction and all. What's the point in doing that? Because it'd make me happy? But I'm asking what good would come out of doing all that. It was still pointless. Don't you remember our elementary school days? We used to practice skipping rocks all the time. Yes, but we're in high school now. You're a third year for crying out loud. Looked like you were going all out though, to the point where you slipped and fell. Again. Can we please change the subject? Oh, you're so scary, Odagiri-kun. Such a married couple. Odagiri-kun. Why are ladies in the boys' room? Hey, don't come to my room without permission. Hey, some privacy here, please? Why? You, you guys gonna... You guys gonna... Do stuff? What, what, what are you gonna do? Huh? What are you gonna do? Wait, which bed will you do it on? Huh? Huh? Fine. I, I won't peek in through the window there, I promise. Yeah, I can't. Even if I wanted to, there's still <laughs> no here. Just goes off in the fucking twilight zone. I was kicked out of my room because I was annoying my roommates. It's irritating just talking about it. When I get back, I'm going to annoy them even more than before. Um, yeah, why, why not go now? Just just annoy them. They're right in there. I'll, I'll leave you to it. Oh, hey! Oh, this trip went by in a blur. I can't believe we're already heading home tomorrow. I don't really care much for temples, but I still had a lot of fun. Let's hang out after we get back. Okay. Something to drink? Nope. <laughs> Hot springs are so relaxing. Yeah. I've got to study my ass off for the exams when I get back. University entrance exams are in less than two months. Competition's about to begin. <sighs> Why'd you have to remind me about the exams? Way to kill the trip's mood. 
Yeah, buddy. The fuck? The fuck indeed. You know, I just realized, wh where's the washroom? Like, even if the floor had a shared washroom, I don't see it anywhere. And... Oh, this is my room. Right, right, right. A local guy talked to me today. I wonder if my prayers at the Romance Shrine are starting to have an effect. Maybe I'll score a boyfriend by Christmas this year. Maybe. Maybe. There's a chance. There's always a chance. Anything's possible. Fuka. I'm glad that Kirijo Senpai seems to be feeling better. Me too. It's been a really rough three days, but it's almost over. What, can't you tell what I'm talking about? I'm trying to keep anyone from seeing me without my makeup, of course. It, that, that, that's your own problem. Everyone's all out chilling. Oh. Hello. Anyway, my friends and I are really into the dessert they serve at the cafe there. Oh, do you want to come with us after school sometime, Mitsuru-senpai? Yes, of course. I'd like to try this special strawberry parfait you mentioned. Okay, cool. It's a date then. If you have any other recommendations, I'd love to hear them, Yukari. Oh, there's this new place one city over. Fascinating. Why don't I get a date invites from Yukari? Wake conscious student. Kirijo Senpai and Yukari have such good figures. All that exercise in their club activities must really be paying off. The Yamagishi girl is a really good figure, too. I was surprised when I saw her at the baths yesterday. But she's in a culture club. Maybe clubs have nothing to do with it. I don't know what that means. Did I check this vending machine? I did. I did. All right, Junpei, let's do this. Up? Want to check out the outdoor hot spring? <sighs> All right, let's go. Sweet. I'll grab Sonata-san and Ryoji, so you can head back to the room and get ready. Oh, now we can go back up. All right. I, I, I'm going. I. Yes. Do you know this hot spring is open for guys at certain times and girls at others? Makes sense. No way, really? So, there's a chance we could switch to girls only while we're still in here. But even if that happens, it wouldn't be on us, right? That's true. Something like that actually happening wouldn't be our fault. Don't you think? This might blow up in our faces. Blow up how? Even still, can't help but think maybe fate wants us to be here. Anyway, I was just asking. Not like I'm being serious. Hey, isn't it getting kind of hot in here? Jinpei and Ryoji seem to be acting strange. So, what time does this hot spring change from guys only to girls only, Junpei? Oh, I'm not sure. I didn't bother to check. Right, Ryoji-kun? Right. It could happen at any moment, couldn't it, Junpei-kun? You morons. So that's why we came at such a strange time. 
<laughs> Calm down, man. We're just joking. I mean, yeah, we are here at a weird hour. But don't worry about it. I doubt any girls will come out here this late. What? Someone's here. Oh, man. What are we gonna do? Probably just another guy. Yeah, don't worry. We can say we didn't know. That it's all just a misunderstanding. Wow. This hot spring is huge. Of course. Oh, shit. Wow, you're right. It's as big as a swimming pool. So this is an outdoor hot spring. Unfortunately, its therapeutic benefits have no effect on me. Shit, it's them! What are they doing here this late? Yes! Yukari-san and Fuka-san! Oh, this is my lucky little... Shut up, you dumbass! They'll hear you! How about you just let them know, like, Listen, oh, sorry, we're here. Is someone there? We'll leave now. What's wrong, Yukari? Did you hear something? Michiru's here, too? Oh, man. There's no way she'll see this as just a misunderstanding. Uh, you don't think she'd get us expelled for this, right? Like, it was guys only when we got here. It's not like we planned this. We were just goofing around. Do you expect her to buy that? No, if she finds us, then... Then what? We'll be executed. <laughs> uh, executed? Yeah, I think I did hear something. Fuka, could you check over there? It could be a ghost. Um, okay. We have to make our way out of the hot spring without being spotted. This is a life or death mission. If we fail, calling this an accident isn't gonna cut it. Hmm. I don't see anyone here. That's Fuka-san's voice. Is she going around the rock? Yay, hey, you're leading this operation, aren't you? What the hell should we do? Um... Hide by the rock? Hey, not that way! Is this rock formation natural? Hey, is something hiding in the rock shadows? Uh oh. What? I guess I failed. Wait, this is just a misunderstanding. Silence. Consider yourselves executed! It was nice knowing you. <laughs> well, I failed that. <laughs> it's the last day of our school trip. We'll be leaving Kyoto by bullet train this afternoon. I'm free until then. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. Well, I'm never gonna forget Kyoto. Not like I could, even if I wanted to. <laughs> you weren't kidding about the whole execution thing. Just try to forget about it. Crap, here they come. <sighs> wow, that's cold. Not a word, huh? Look out! It's Mitsuru! Brace yourselves! It's 
monster walk past us without a single glance in our direction. Damn, not even a dirty look. Oh, welcome back. Wow, that was fast. Uh... Oh man, I'm so tired. But it was a lot of fun. I brought back some souvenir stories, so I'll tell you them later. Oh! Okay. I'll be looking forward to them then. Hmm. We can't go to Tartarus tonight. We're all too tired. Let's go to tomorrow night. Even though we don't have anything to fight for anymore. Jeez. I hope you've thought about what you did. Honestly, I'd rather just forget the whole thing. But maybe you better not forget your punishment. Maybe you'll think twice before trying that again. Excellent. Kyoto is filled with many beautiful sights. The sole blemish of the trip was an incident instigated by a group of peeping scoundrels. Do you have anything to say for yourself? Okay, you know what? I'm actually going to load. Uh, or rewind. Will it let me rewind? Uh, I guess so. Yeah. Um. Sup? Sup? All right. Uh, I'm just gonna talk to everyone again. I'll fast forward. Okay. So we're back here now. We'll hide by the. We'll hide in the steam. Seems like a bold move, but I trust your judgment. Wow. You really know what you're doing. Have a choice. In the shadows. No, there's no one here. See, you have nothing to be afraid of. Are you sure? Looks like we bought ourselves some time. Okay, I would like to preface this by saying it, I'm not doing this just to like. Oh, I want to see naked ladies. We're obviously not going to see anything. But I, I just want to see what happens when we, you know, get out of this situation. Like, how we're treated differently. But if the wind picks up even a little, we'll totally get spotted! I thought this was an indoor. I mean, but... and I guess are probably close, too. Can't afford to be careless here. But now what? Uh, use the duck as a red herring, I would think? I get it. We'll distract them with noise. Good plan. I mean, why else would it uh, be there? What herring? And why is it red? He can explain later. Ah, what was that? Yukari, what's wrong? What happened? There was a splash just now. We know where they are now. This is our chance. It's a good thing I, uh, I guess doesn't have, like, we'll never make it night vision or something. Out into the open like that. Um, just follow my lead, I guess. Whoa, so much confidence. You're like a natural-born leader. Well, you got us this far. Might as well go all in with you. All right, let's move. No, it couldn't be. What's this? It appears to be a rubber duck. So there really wasn't anything there, huh? Sorry, I guess I was wrong. Is it just me, or is the water a little too hot? I'm getting kind of lightheaded. Yamagishi appears to be stripped of her abilities when stripped of her clothing. <laughs> Obviously. How intriguing. Each individual human body has its own distinct characteristics. To be more specific. Okay, that's plenty, I guess. <laughs> Let's go. I'll treat you to some ice cream. Ice cream? That's a highly efficient way to cool down. Ugh. 
I don't know how, but we made it out, all thanks to you. One wrong step, and Mitsuru would have had our heads. Uh, where'd Junpei and Mochizuki go? Huh? Junpei-kun and Ryoji-kun are lying on the ground over there. Their faces are all red. Are they okay? I bet they were doing something stupid again. Just leave them alone. Oh, looks like the heat got to them. Guess they got what was coming. Mission accomplished, guys. It's the last day of our school trip. We'll be leaving Kyoto by bullet train this afternoon. I'm free until then. Well, I can't okay, do anything. Okay, everyone. You all remember when we're meeting at Kyoto Station, right? You better make sure you're on time. If any one of you is late, I'm the one who pays the price. I thought Kyoto was gonna blow, but it actually wasn't that bad. Well, mostly because of last night. <sighs> You're talking about the hot spring, right? Damn it, keep your voice down. Crap, here they come. Hmm? What's going on, guys? Oh, uh, we're just having a, um, a reflection meeting. Uh, what are you reflecting on? Huh? Oh, don't worry about it. Okay. Oh, whatever. Hmm. This secret stays between us, got it? You guys better take it to the grave. Can't help but didn't see Mitsuru there. Can't help but notice we didn't see Mitsuru. Oh, welcome back. Uh, oh! Hmm. Yeah, all the same thing. Okay. Hey, um... I told you I used to live in Kyoto, right? So I've seen most of the famous sites. I've already seen most of the famous sites. But I never realized the sunset at Kamogawa River was that beautiful. Excellent. Kyoto is filled with many beautiful sites. The most memorable for me was the Kamogawa River. Especially during the evening. The sunset was absolutely amazing. I'll never forget it. This is questionable. What's the matter, Makoto-san? You seem anxious when the girls are around. I speculate that you were concealing a serious matter from the girls. No, no, it's all good. Good to see you. I'm sure everyone's exhausted today, so let's go to Tartarus some other time. <laughs> I had a lot of fun on the school trip. Did you? We visited so many beautiful places, and I really enjoyed the hot spring. <laughs> Hi there. Which reminds me, we heard something when we were soaking. A monkey probably snuck in. Um, are you listening, Yuki-kun? You're sweating. Are you okay? What? Huh? You really got me a souvenir? What should I give him? Uh, I think he wanted this one. Uh. Ooh, Nama Yatsuhashi? Yay, it's got Azuki too. Uh, that with Azuki is the best. Thank you very much. Thank you. Um. By the way, I guess I could pick out uncomfortable around the girls. Something happened on the school trip? Um. Can't get more. Every channel is showing news related to apathy syndrome. <sighs> you guys need to grow up more. We've gotten caught. We would have experienced hell on earth. Isn't that? Speaking of memories, we sure had a rough time in the hot spring, huh? Like we were seriously unlucky. Ugh, if only the girls were less prone to executions. I don't even want to think about it anymore. So, yeah, we can go talk to the monk. Uh, but, we will actually leave that for next time. Uh, we accomplished quite a bit this episode, um, especially with the whole uh, field trip. Um, yeah, next time, uh, we might go into Tartarus. Um, uh, we'll have to see uh, what, uh, what, what happens, but... Yeah, we might get some more people wandering into Tartarus 
again, so we might have to go deal with that. But uh, we'll see how it goes. In the meantime, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.